Tomorrow morning, people here in Tucson will gather to remember the January 8th shooting that killed six and wounded 13 others. It's been nine years since that fateful day that changed the Tucson community. News 4 Tucson's Mark Mangoro spoke with survivors and has more. It's new at 10. Today, Tucsonans will never forget, and soon a memorial will pay tribute to all of those who lost their lives that horrific day. It shocked our community and it shocked the country. Uh, but now, unfortunately, it's almost commonplace. Since the beginning of this year, 2020, we've had six mass shootings in our country. Ron Barber is a survivor of the January 8th, 2011 shooting. He was working on then Congresswoman Gabby Gifford's staff. Others with him during the shooting say they are constantly reminded of that day. In the nine years since, I think being a part of this club, every time there is a shooting, I get a phone call from another survivor, from the press, from even my own family asking, are you okay? How are you doing? The club he's referring to is gun violence survivors. Hernandez was a 20 year old intern at the time, five days into his work on Gifford staff. For me, it was a really traumatic and really kind of painful experience that I still kind of have to deal with all the time. For survivors, the anniversary is a day of mixed emotions where they remember the horrific events, but also remember the good that came from it. As the days went on, uh, the community just rose up with such love and compassion. So what I've tried to do is obviously not forget what happened, you can't, but also to remember the, the goodwill and the compassion and the love that we caught from our community. Bells will ring tomorrow morning at 1010, the exact moment the shooting started. The memorial will be at El Presidio Park in downtown. In the studio, I'm Mark Magura, News 4 Tucson.